Okay, so we have our plank. We have a nice theme with it. Wallpapers from Variety. We have a new theme, arc theme, the, the standard arc theme, blue colors, and we have this little icon. And that's the thing I wanted to change first. So everything about panels. This movie is going to be about this little icon, but we can maybe talk about the complete panels. So we could ask the Whisker menu, which is this thing, to check what pro properties there are. So we can click on this icon. I want to get rid of that and get something more white black or something like that. And we can go anywhere on the system to get an icon. But I'm going to press Ctrl H now. And we have this icon theme. We downloaded Sardi, we downloaded Surfin. So we have a lot of, lots of icons. And if you go to Sardi, scalable to places, it's a guess, it's a guess, a gamble. And you go to one of these. Yeah, we just decide what icon we're gonna put there. It's Linux Mint, it is, I know. So we could do this for instance. It, you don't see it now, but now you see white on black. So this is a nicer icon, I think. So I chose another icon. You can cho choose the Steam icon, you can choose a Word icon, or whatever icon you want. I'm gonna change this as well for everybody to know. We are working on Linux Mint 18 XFCE. So when you make screenshots on your uh, Google Plus or so, and then you still remember, okay, it's that kind of um, distro I was working on at the time. So Linux Mint 18 XFCE, these letters are shown because of this here. Anything else? Show generic application names, the descriptions. I don't really need any descriptions. So when you go over a program, then it says what it is. It's nice in the beginning, um, but at some point in time, you know, when it it's pop-ups sometime, not at, not at this time, but uh, I don't want it. So let's get rid of that. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, if, if you want to have bigger icons, but I'm quite happy with small and smaller. So the category are these icons and the other icons are those. So maybe you could uh, agree that it's better to do both the same size. It's just a choice. So now they are as big left and right. That's an idea. You can make this also bigger. The menu a bit, a bit larger. Why not? So the system is still on here. Maybe a little bit higher like this. Okay. Then behavior, switch categories by hovering, yep, interesting. So if you hover over it, you see that it will change. Position search entry next to the panel button, this, that's here. But why not do this as well? Position commands next to search, variety just changed my wallpaper, I did not. This is this little button here. Position categories next to the panel button. You want this, you can have this as well. Or back to the way it was. So a lot of things are possible. What else? Not so interesting. Commands, um, that's that. Commands, not interesting. Search accounts, no. That's it. I guess maybe the mug shots so you can click on this little icon select from stock or browse put in your own stuff I don't know little panda little ding whatever yeah okay you choose you apply it's there that's small stuff how about the panel itself can we change that yes we can if we right mouse click it so this was the property of the whisker menu Edit applications, you can do it well, but it's not so interesting for fine-tuning. Panel preferences, here you can change the panel. So this red thing here that is now, the ants are running around, they say in English, the ants. 
Um, spanned monitors, two monitors, it goes to the other one as well. Lock panel, if you want to say, wow, I want to have it on the top, that would be nice on the top, then it is now on the top. We'll put back lock panel and then it's there forever. Gonna keep it at the bottom. Lock panel. We don't reserve space on borders, not so interesting. Automatically hide the panel if you want to. The size may be a little bit bigger depending what you want appearance this is more interesting for design reasons you can make this transparent well you don't see it so let's change the wallpaper well the other one was nicer not the elephant this was nicer this is so geeky so you can make this transparent this is transparency this is quite transparent so the truth, the, the truth is somewhere in the middle, like they say. So you choose an alpha that is a bit okay. You can also change the opacity if you go inside it. As you can see, it's a little bit too much. So I don't want that, but I do like to be so that I see the wallpaper a bit more, a little bit more transparency. And for items, you can change around things that are positioned here. If, uh, if not by hand, you can change it by hand or just uh, by hand, I mean right mouse click, move. But you can also do it here. That's the things you should know about the panel.